How the frick are y'all doing today? Oh my god, that was, that was just freaking. That was just freaking fricked up, dude. That was some wicked punch. I, I like stabbed her in the back of the head with a freaking with the freaking cane and she went flying forward instead of down okay thanks to our bug in miss decibel's office we now have all the information we need it appears she has been producing counterfeit documents for the paradox creating a false family history that will make him an esteemed member of royalty in the present day I've managed to inspect some of the documentation, and believe me, if we allow him to get away with this, his wealth and power will make him untouchable. I believe he is planning this to be his last and greatest caper. The key to stopping him begins with us getting through that security door of the lamp shop. I haven't been able to discover what's behind it, but we know that's where Decibel will deliver the papers to the Paradox. However, since we don't want to announce our presence, we need a diversion for the guards. So I've taken the liberty of fashioning an outfit for Carmelita, who will use it to lure Ooh. the guards away from their posts by, uh, performing a belly dance. What? Possibly your best plan ever, Bentley. <laughs> Sorry I didn't ask, Carmelita, but you're the only one who can pull this off. Uh, Bentley, I, I can do it. I am not getting into that. <laughs> I realize it's a bit revealing, <laughs> but think of it as going undercover. Bentley? I'm positive the Murray could squeeze into that thing. Hey, Carmelita, you should model that outfit for us to make sure it fits. Shut up, Ringtail. I'm only doing this for the team. Listen, silk is very elastic. All right, let's move out. We don't have any time to waste. What the frick? <laughs> I just made a joke. You could say she would look foxy. <laughs> Get it? Because she's a fox. <laughs> Okay, Carmelita, we need you to distract those guards and get them away from that door. Yeah, bust a move, Carmelita. How about I bust your face, Cooper? <laughs> We're counting on you, Carmelita. Meet us inside once you can lose the guards. Bentley, you owe me big time for this one. Okay, she really doesn't look that, you know, ooh, 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 ooh la la, she really doesn't, ew. See, the, the pants make her look fat. The pants make her legs look fat. And you can't see her face, because there's a weird mask. Oh my god, this is... That was... The, oh, wow. I'm twerking for the guards. Seriously, is that, is that what that was? I'm shaking my butt. 
What the frick is this guitar hero crap? Frick. <laughs> wow. This is the stupidest thing in this game. Three apparently. I should go no further. I have passed my greatest wisdom on to you. The last of my friends are now retired, and I have had enough snakes and scorpions and climbing for three lifetimes. Besides, I was thinking someone should watch over Carmelita to make sure she is safe. All right, Salim. We couldn't have made it this far without you, but I think we can handle it from here. You definitely earned your retirement. Go enjoy it. And the belly dancing. Thank you. I win. <laughs> station for Le Paradox's blip. No wonder we haven't seen that thing floating around. So, what's our next move, Batman? Well, first we need something to distract those guards, so I can get to that control room. I whipped up a surprise for Miss Decibel with a leftover material from Carmelita's outfit, but I think it might work better here. Finally! Just point me in the direction of the changing room and... What the... Does Murray like being in that outfit? Use the security cameras to guide the RC car. Yo, go, go. What the fuck are these controls? Go, go, go. Yeah. 
little paradox. Thanks, too. bit off but I know why she likes the skunk guy. Because she can't smell him because her trunk is clogged. But I don't understand. I thought you were after him. You're right. You don't understand. I don't care about that old bag of bones. Just his cane. Which, as you can see, I already have. Uh-oh. Double draft. 
Well, good. Then our deal is complete. I'm coming aboard. Hold is he dead? Blimp. So sorry, Shelley. But with Monsieur Cooper here, I am afraid the schedule has changed. And I must make my exit now. I cannot risk that flea bitten rat ruining my plans. Never again. 
No one you want to go Yeah. Huh. Ooh. He. What the frick? Oh, she died. Oh, no, she didn't. Cyril, open the hatch! Let me in! I don't think so. You see, we have already reached the maximum weight capacity. <laughs> We 
may have stopped Miss Decibel, but it meant absolutely nothing. We were on the ropes. The Paradox had beaten us every step of the way, and he held all the cards. Carmelita, my ancestor's canes, and now his fake pedigree. I couldn't remember a time since we teamed up that we felt so defeated. And talking to Dimitri didn't help. He was freaked out and yelling about having to boogie down in skunk town. So as usual, his words made little sense. But the message was clear. We had to get back home fast. We may have been down, but we definitely weren't out. There was too much riding on this. The lives of everyone we cared about, not to mention the very future of our existence. No matter how, we would make things right. So as we roared back through time to Paris, I knew we were in for the fight of our lives. Oh, right, so another world, yay. I thought that was it, but it ain't, so another world, and... So we'll be it for this episode, yay. Another one. Mm -hmm.